Okay, so the next one we're going to learn is uh, handstand push-ups and the progressions for those. We start off with a tripod. That's a cool gymnastic movement which helps build your confidence in being upside down and getting familiar with the position of being upside down and pressing straight up into a handstand. So you start off with your hands, use some sort of soft surface. We use an ab mat, um, some soft surface with your hands and your head, making that triangle or tripod shape. And then what we want to do is slowly raise our back up and pull our knees onto our elbows and work on our balance there. From there, we can focus on extending our legs up and back down just to fill the position. It's a big movement on your midline, everything needs to be stable, your core needs to be switched on to be able to hold that balance. And then from there, we work a few reps up and down, extending and bringing our legs down. And then we'll move on to the next progression, which is learning how to do a kicking handstand position. I'll take you too far just to let go. Turn off your mind. Alright, so the next part, keeping handstand push up. Once we feel you know, confident with being in that upside down position, we can then place our hands next to our head in a handstand, more of a handstand push up position. Bum against the wall, and we focus on really driving our legs up and making this a whole body exercise. So, with a handstand push up using the kip, what you want to do is tuck your knees down, not all the way to the chest, you can if you like, but bring your knees down, lift your feet off the wall, and then more like a riding bike motion or kicking up through the ceiling. I tell myself I'll kick my legs as fast as I can, up and back against the wall. I press my arms out at the same time, creating that lockout with the arms, the feet against the wall, that constitutes a rep in a uh, crossfit for a handstand push up. With a handstand push-up, you don't have to start flat. Everyone has different abilities and skill levels. You can use plates underneath the abnet to raise the surface so the press out isn't as, isn't as far. And then you might have some other athletes who have plates side by side to actually create a deficit so their handstand push-up is further than they normally would. This is good because it's a progression that you can use to slowly either build down just an abnet or no abnet at all, just a soft surface. Or even if you get good at that for reps, you can build up to a deficit and then really test your skill levels and seeing how far you can press out of a handstand.